Well, right now at 530, a winter storm warning is in effect for all of North Texas and the entire state. Thank you for joining us for Snowmageddon. I'm Cynthia Aceguerre. And I'm Chris Lawrence. I mean, you, you could see what the interstate looks like uh, right now near downtown Dallas. I mean, it, it, almost complete. Yeah, white out. You don't want to be on those flyovers Part, yeah, either. Just seeing those barely seeing the lights and it's only going to get worse from here. Chief meteorologist Pete Delka has walked us through round one and now Pete, I understand we're moving into round two. Round two. This is yeah. the main round and there's a third round that I, I it truly is concerning because we're going to have a major ice storm mm. in part of the state and it's going to be really, really close to the Metroplex. That's Tuesday night and Wednesday morning. So let's talk about round two. Round one was the appetizer we had this morning, right? And throughout the day, that little bit of light snow. But look at this. It's coming down at a pretty good clip in Weatherford. It's nine. It feels like eight below. That's the wind chill in Weatherford. The wind chill at UNT in Denton is four below. The air temp is 11 at Dallas Baptist. It's snowing. I mean, we've got a good good coating of snow down right now, uh, close to two inches out at DBU. It feels like zero. That's the wind chill and in downtown Dallas. It feels like three below cold temps indeed. So I think Cynthia and Chris just mentioned that the entire state is under a winter storm warning. Uh, I'm an old guy. I don't know that I've seen this before. The entire state all the way down to the valley, all the way out to El Paso, of course, up to Amarillo and the Panhandle and right here in North Texas. It is due to three to eight plus inches of snow near blizzard conditions tonight near whiteout conditions tonight it is going to be a dangerous night tonight the moderate to at times heavy snow has moved into the heart of north texas right up and down the i-35 corridor from gainesville all the way down to waco and locations west here's the track it'll arrive the the snow the, i mean the accumulating snow and it's around an inch inch and a half per hour it's going to last for about two to three hours, maybe four in some spots. Anna, arrival time for you, 539, Josephine 610, Greenville 633, Cooper 718, and in Paris at 728. Snowing at a good clip in downtown Dallas. The timing puts it in Rockwall at 541, Canton 610, Wills Point 629, and in uh, Van at 637. Van's in East Texas. Think of Sky Ranch, then you'll think of Van. Here we are. Look off to the east here. It, Italy, there we are, snowing at a good clip. It'll arrive in Corsicana, 547. Malakoff, arrival time there, 633. Brownsboro, 715. And Chandler at 731. A wider look, it is coming. Look at this. I mean, we have one, two, three, four, five, six hours of snow in the forecast across North Texas. There we are. It's just it's on and off as we head throughout the entire evening. We'll have another good batch roll in around sometime after midnight. And there we are two o'clock in the morning. The snow continues during that time. How much will we pick up? Heaviest is to the northwest four to eight, maybe up to 10 inches there. Southeast, we're looking at four to eight. And then right here, we're sandwiched in between with three to six, give or take an inch or so. But the heart of North Texas, Dallas, Fort Worth, three to six inches of snow. Some spots could pick up a tad more. And then record cold tomorrow morning. The record low is 15. My forecast low tomorrow is four. Wind chills tomorrow will be anywhere from 10 to 20 plus degrees below zero. 10 to 20 below zero tomorrow morning with about three to six inches of snow on the ground and snow and ice in the forecast on Wednesday. Don't miss this forecast, guys. I'll have the uh, the timeline of the Wednesday situation, all of that and uh, more record cold too on the way coming up. A lot to unpack there, Pete, uh, but it's pretty clear the roads are going to be slick for at least the next Ooh. several days. And if you need to prove why it's important to drive slowly, well, just take a look at what happened down in Kimball County. Cody Butler sent us this video near Junction where he watched that semi slide right off the road. Lauren Nevitz has been working all day to keep us surprised of what's happening on the major streets and highways. Are, are there a lot of people out there driving, Lauren? You know, Chris, um, there are more than I would like to see because we have been telling y'all all day long, please do not get on the roadways 
if you don't need to. There's no reason to be out there. Pete was just talking about negative 14 degree wind chills. So don't leave your house if you don't have an excuse to because I have been seeing a lot of accidents today because of cars spinning out. And like you saw that video of the 18 wheeler, that's just bound to happen. So make sure you are taking it slow if you have to head out the door. Uh, here's one of the accidents that I've been keeping my eye on in Dallas on northbound 35E. This one's at Camp Wisdom and crews have been working on this one for a while. So just keep that in mind. I'm not really worried about backups or congestion, but do be aware uh, that you need to avoid some emergency crews on the roadways. Another accident that you might want to look out for is on eastbound I-20 at St. Augustine. That's due to a vehicle that slid out and then westbound 635 at Garland Road. That's another one. So most of the accidents that I've been seeing are in Dallas, uh, but I am still seeing plenty of icy roads in Tarrant County, Collin County, Denton County. So make sure you are taking your time out there if you have to hit the roads. Uh, some tips that you want to keep in mind, obviously ease up on the gas. Make sure you're going slow when you come up to stoplights, ease into those brakes so that you aren't sliding around everywhere. Um, obviously, take care of yourself on those bridges, overpasses, etc., because those are icy, as we know. And then just a heads up from DART, all of their rail travel is suspended until 11.59 p.m. on Wednesday. The weather is supposed to get much worse, so just keep in mind, and then the bus routes will uh, run on their Saturday schedule. All right, Izzy, back to you. All right, Lauren, it's great to see you. I don't see you often enough. We'll see you here in a few minutes. And of course, like Lauren said, it is critical to stay weather aware during this winter storm. If you haven't already done this, now is the time to download our WFAA app. We've made it super easy for you to get it. Just scan that QR code on the bottom right corner of your screen with your phone's camera. And there you have it. Like we've been saying, it's best to stay home if you can, but if you absolutely have to hit the road today, please take it slowly. Let's check in with Teresa Wooders. She's in North Arlington near I-30. Teresa, what are you seeing right now? Uh, I think I tell you, I'm feeling freezing. I'm seeing a lot of snow, Cynthia. Earlier, we were going about 20 miles an hour and we were feeling relatively safe going at that pace. We pulled over for this live report maybe about 45 minutes ago or so, and conditions have changed dramatically in that time. In fact, behind me, you probably can't even see it, but it's the overpass uh, near I-30 and Collins. We had a clear view of that maybe 10 minutes ago, and now there's so much snow in the air, you just really can't see anything. So visibility is definitely taking a hit. I wanna take you on a little tour of the drive from Dallas over here to Tarrant County. Our video begins a couple of hours ago, uh, getting on the I-30 from downtown Dallas on the flyover ramp onto the interstate. You really couldn't even see the pavement. Lanes were just barely visible. Now, once on I-30, there were three lanes open, some cars going just a little too fast, passing people who were doing it the right way. Over in Arlington, at the ballpark way exit, getting onto the frontage road, it's really covered in snow. Now, I want to really focus in on the side streets because that's the worst of it. We actually did see a pickup truck that was just sliding backwards on ballpark. The driver kept giving it gas, just kept sliding. It is just so tough to get traction in these conditions. Cars were trying to maneuver around him. Thankfully, we didn't see anybody crash into each other. We were worried for a minute. Listen now to a bit of advice from a Tarrant County driver. He's a former truck driver from Chicago, and he has successfully navigated this kind of weather for years. Slow, slow, easy on the brake. If you skid, just move your move your hand from the the wheels and slow down. Just move it. If you see the skid, just move it. Slow down. Easy on the brake. Easy on the brake. Slow down. That's exactly right. He had taken his kids out to the area near the old ballpark. A couple hills out there. There were a few other folks out there sledding taking some pictures, having some fun, but really I think the time to have gotten out and had fun has passed. Maybe you had a window a couple of hours ago where you could get out and enjoy a little bit of this, but it is really uh, deteriorated to the point. It is just not safe on the roads. It is so cold and so windy as well. We know the governor stressed this in his press conference yesterday, Izzy, that any of the pre-treating that was done, it just doesn't work when you get down to temperatures that are this low. So the only thing we can say, go home, stay home, and stay safe. Izzy? 
Oh my gosh, Teresa, get back in that car. Darling, you look miserable. Nice job. We'll check back in with you. And you know, if you do have to drive on those icy roads, remember these tips. Don't use cruise control. Increase the distance between you and the next car. Accelerate and brake slowly. And if you start to slide, stay calm and steer into that skid. Yeah, in other words, the direction that your, your back wheels are going, you want to steer in that direction. And hopefully we don't have to tell people not to use cruise control in, in weather like this.